Hi guys, it's Anne and Doll again. I'm here to show you my new desk that I was working on recently and uh, just a few tiny little objects I made. If Please ignore Milton's duck feet pose. Um, it's the only way I could get him to stand next to his desk. I wanted to show you um, what it looks like when he's beside it. And he's all dressed up which he wasn't in the tag video I just did, um, the tag that was made by Edward Insane. Um, good thing he's dressed up now, because it, it would have been really strange to see him shirtless and just... <laughs> I'm glad I put him in clothes. Um, so Milton is 52 centimeters, and I made the desk about the top of the writing surface. That's about 11 and a half inches from the floor. So it's black, and it's black because I found the top piece. Um, it's a vanity box that you. It had a lid that you can um, lift on its hinge. So this was this top part was um, hinged at the side, and you could lift it so you can access the contents within the box. So this is partially hollow on the inside, although I did uh, reinforce it. Uh, due to I needed to put these little drawers in So there's two drawers here. Uh, these were panels on the side of the box that I cut out to make the drawers This one's pretty uh, stuck in there There I won't pull it out anymore. It'll be hard to put it back in um, And I had originally wanted to keep the table surface as it was, its function to flap open, but I couldn't. Um, if you see here, this is two inches from the top of this wall, so the, the lid of the box was originally lying across here. I cut it off and lowered it so that it fit inside so that there were three walls sticking out. There was a lot of, it was just too thick for my taste if I had kept the box as it was. If it was two inches, that's like, it's like almost his whole forearm. Um, so to me, that just seems too, that's too deep and uncomfortable ergonomically for someone to sit at a desk that deep uh, because you'd have basically the bottom of the desk brushing against the top of your thighs while you were writing on the desk. And that seemed really uncomfortable. So I had to lower that top surface, and I think it does look more proportionally appealing now that it is skinnier. If it had been too thick at the top, it would just be too top-heavy, too difficult for him to sit in, etc. So once I did that, reinforced the inside, inserted the drawers, um, I needed to have legs. So I have these wood dowels that I stained black and varnished, which I was able to find at Home Depot. And then I added these supports. There's two down here on the sides, and then one center support that runs through the middle like that. And it's about, um, I believe this is 11 and a half inches across and almost seven inches deep, or maybe it's six and a half. I think it's six and a half deep. I did have a sketch that I had originally wanted to make the whole table from scratch, including the table surface, um, but couldn't find the right supplies for it. So I'd originally wanted to make a desk from scratch, but oh well. So there's that. And I still need to make a chair for it. So Milton can actually sit at the desk and not just keep standing at it. Although this isn't 100%, but I think it might go this way. I'm planning to make a second desk because originally, in my original sketch, I had wanted a brown, a brown varnish. But when I couldn't find the supplies to make the tabletop surface, I used this vanity box and the vanity box is, bra is black so I stained the legs black to match it but my original um, desire was to have a desk that was sort of this color 
and it would be beaten up and old and just a really well-worn, um, it looks like it had been through the war, that kind of desk. But um, this is what we ended up with. And just looking at it, its executive kind of style is, <laughs> it, it tells me that it belongs to Thirxes, who, as you might know, Thirxes is no longer in my collection recently since that character had to be had to be replaced by a temporary character. Now that I have an adult in a 52 centimeter range, I want Thirxes to also be in the 50-ish centimeter range. But I'm guessing this is his desk, and I will now try, I don't know when, but I will need to try to make Milton his real desk. He'll be borrowing this for now, so as you can see I've already set up all his stuff. Uh, last thing is I made two little pens. Oops, uh, rolling away. Two little pens here. Here's a little silver fountain pen, and here's a little gold pen. Those were just, you know, I needed time to kill while the varnish was drying and all the stain was drying. And this is just a little, um, Thing I quickly glued together so that it was a nifty little pen stand. Oops. I've actually dropped this once and broken it already, so let's hope that doesn't happen again. There's that. And then you can also stick this one because there's two more little holes. Here's the overview of the desk. Um, Milton's mother, which is really Olivia de Havilland. Um, a little globe. Adley's magnifying glass, some case files, little necklace I got, uh, the charm I got in Italy for Adley, little pair of scissors because Milton needs to clip newspaper clippings uh, for his job and actually for rather odd reasons as well, just to collect newspaper clippings, a little pad of sticky notes, and a little oil lamp. And you can put everything away in the drawer. That's what I did over my weekend, this dress, uh, this little unexpected desk that is really Thirxes, but is being on loan so that this guy can borrow it. Um, at least we've got a desk in the, in the little collection of BGD props I've gathered here. So I'll be trying a second attempt whenever I can find the supplies for that. Uh, thanks for watching guys. I will try to do another update video soon about my dolls. And I also like to do a lineup of all my mini dolls so you can see all my mini dolls like my mini femur and my withal Kathy standing next to my cell doll Vito. So I'll see you guys then. Bye.